What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the reaction stream drama that's been going around the internet for the past couple of weeks. I really find it interesting, and specifically as a content creator, I definitely have some things to say, and I wasn't sure about doing it or not, but you know what? Let's just go for it. So sit back and relax, and we're going to be playing some gameplay over this just as I kind of rant about it. And I'm very much on the side opposite of XQC. I've never liked the guy from clips that I've seen of him his kind of attitude and personality if you like him that's that's more than fine I don't care right do your own thing watch who you like don't let other people you know tell you what to do in that regard it's your entertainment it's your free time that's totally cool but I mean I really don't agree with his standpoint I would side with the more of the mudahars of the world the dark vipers of the world right the the opposing side in this uh, fight that we've seen online and what this basically boils down to for those that don't know this reactionary uh, I guess controversy that's been going on is what is good reaction content what is not illegal you know reaction content and xqc's kind of way of defending himself which is really blown up in his face i'm recording this back on wednesday and i think tuesday is when the video was go uh, getting posted on him reacting to a small creator small video and he was doing a reaction to it he left the stream multiple times he left for like a 10 minute break he made fun of himself for not even reacting to it like he openly acknowledged it now I think some defenders are saying well that was I think that was a twitch stream or some other kind of stream it wasn't uploaded on YouTube as a video but that doesn't change anything so what it boils down to again is you know what is good and right reaction content versus not and these bad faith people like him like Hassan like a couple other people that are online actually many a lot of twitch people right even some of the bigger name twitch people that just watch other people's content and do nothing. There is no reaction there or what there is is extremely, extremely little. And then kind of the, the background statistics of do they actually help that creator? So Mudahar's uh, kind of idea was, well, when you do this, you actually suppress the original video. And I, I actually kind of agree with that. I, I don't think it would be as big of a deal, even if it's bad reaction content. I don't think it'd be a big deal if a smaller creator did it. Now, that doesn't mean they're allowed to. It should be a, a flat kind of landscape. Everybody should get in trouble or nobody should get in trouble in my opinion but when you have these huge creators these million or whatever plus million followers or subscribers or whatever right and they watch other people's content and then they just don't do anything to it right they're just watching it well number one you got litigation you got you got lawsuits waiting to happen and I've very much been in that mindset for a long time YouTube with the uh, ad apocalypse or the, the ad apocalypse back in the day I think that's just waiting to kind of come back and, and you can I think anybody really truly with a brain can understand why when you're watching somebody else's content when you're not doing an adequate job of transforming it in any way and then again that's where xqc and his massive brain comes in to say well you know i'm watching it to this huge audience of 50,000 people and they can go watch the video too and we're all having fun i'm watching it with my audience or i'm watching it for my audience well that doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything go watch and uh, mudahar had made this uh, analogy go watch a movie so for me I, maybe I should just watch Scream and literally just put Scream on the video, the full you know hour and 50 minute movie, and then I watch it, don't do anything with it, just ooh, ah, cool, those kind of things. Post it on YouTube, and you can bet me or not if it's going to get taken down, if I'm going to get a copyright strike, because that's not transformative content, right? And that was the argument kind of made against XQC that, well, if you try that with television shows, you try that with movies, you would get destroyed. There would be some sort of lawsuit. You'd get talked to 100%. That would, would be what would happen. So you don't do it for that. Instead, you do it with other creators. Well, again, two different kind of issues to me would come up. Number one, you're opening up to lawsuits, which would affect everything everybody right the thing with when one person makes like a giant mistake when the logan pauls does something insanely stupid on youtube right it shows like his character that he's a trash human being but it also 
I get worried about it in terms of, well, how is this going to affect everybody else? Because although it was a person who went rogue that did something idiotic and he should probably be kicked off, YouTube's going to implement something that's going to ruin it for the rest of us. And pretty much over time, over the last like 10 years, this thing has happened over and over. Even that, again, the adpocalypse was started from like a small little faction, right? Not everybody did things. It was a small little group and then affected literally everybody else. So that's how these things operate. So it's the same thing here. Number one, I care about, or I guess it's like a 1A, 1B. I I don't even uh, necessarily rank them, but you're hurting the creator because when you dilute it like that, and I guess diluting is in, if you're watching that video, if your video gets, say, 600,000 views or even like two, 300,000 views, you're burying their video, especially with the title. And this is, again, Mudahar's kind of point, uh, the algorithm kind of friendly title, whatever the title would be, XQC reacts to, you know, blank, it takes over that original video. So you could say to go watch the video, you could say that it's giving that video exposure. And in some cases it is, and in some ways it is. But overall, I would say, if you, I agree with this, if, if that video, the reaction video, gets more views than the, the original, then you've just buried it and you've actually hurt them overall. Now that's one thing. And, you know, and again, that would be like kind of ambiguous if you want to hate it or like it, right? If it, if it was just that. But how about then doing that, but providing nothing extra to it? So again, now you open it up to, well, you're just watching somebody else's content. You're not doing anything with it. So number one, lawsuits. Anybody could, you know, and nobody has, right? But somebody could take them out for, hey, you watched my stuff. Again, it's the same thing as a movie or a show or, you know, whatever. You're watching my stuff and you're not doing literally anything to it so I'm gonna take it down I'm gonna take it down or I'm gonna take you to court or you know whatever it is the other side is the potential like long-term risk lawsuit wise or YouTube making some stupid change to hurt you know XQC which which fine you know he kind of deserves it but then what about you know everybody everybody else um I guess one final thing I'd like to throw in people will mention the defenders of XQC will mention like gaming well what about when you do a game well a couple different issues with that number one Technically, for a lot of games, you're not really supposed to just upload like the movie, right? So when you go in and you, you type in like Uncharted 2, like the movie, and you just get all those cutscenes. Well, number one, I guess in a way that is transformative because you've taken all the cutscenes from the entire game and put them in. I think that actually breaks uh, or that's against uh, one of the terms of service of YouTube. I don't think you're allowed to take like compilation of certain moments and put it together and call that transformative content. But the thing with gaming is it, it literally is outside this realm specifically because game companies have that handshake agreement with i guess youtube with creators uh, and for a long time right and some companies have come in late to the party like atlas and like nintendo are two of the more recent ones right but for the longest time and as time has gone on more and more have kind of fallen in line where it's kind of just again agreed upon that you're doing exposure for it. Plus, you're playing the game, you're showing the game, you're going to be showing it in a slightly different way than somebody else can show, right? Because it's gameplay. So, I mean, in some ways, you can always have unique gameplay content versus somebody else even playing the same game because you're always going to play it slightly. Like, literally, maybe you'll move two paces to the left, the other person will move one pace to the left, right? So that's one side of it. But also, the other side is it's just a, it's an agreement. They just don't go after people for doing it. It's just been that way for a long time time again it's this kind of unspoken rule or handshake agreement that they accept that exposure maybe it should be okay to do it right maybe it should be fine for a movie to say hey what but i I mean again it's a little different because the movie doesn't change at all literally you can't do anything to change that movie right so you watch uh you know again anything you watch scream you can't watch that movie and the movie can't be any different than the the next person so yeah for a game cutscenes will be the same but like when it's the gameplay that that will not be the same right so it's a little bit different but i've just seen people kind of go after the the gaming world i suppose so let me know what you guys think it's it's fascinating and i really hope it doesn't blow up in our faces i don't care about xqc i don't care about these people i I mean i guess selfishly i care about myself being smaller than them and i care about everybody else every 
everybody else and how this could affect kind of content going forward because it's always an overcorrection. Always they would overcorrect. So, you know, they could try to fix something with that situation and they go overboard and maybe they do go after gaming or something dumb, right, where they didn't have to do that. So uh, the best case for everybody is to knock that stuff off. Stop taking 10-minute breaks and, and leaving the stream altogether and just letting the video play. That's not transfer. You should get, I mean, you should definitely get taken to court for that stuff, right? So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.